What's up, y'all? It's Dean Kill. I'm gonna give y'all a tutorial on how to use advanced compensation, have optic compensation in using Twitch and making that big explosion sound like explosions that they're making an episode that's really overused now. But I'm still gonna show you a advanced tutorial on how to do it. All right. So what you wanna do is make a new layer. Go to adjustment layer. All right. And I kind of added a little bit so you just add your clip up for the way you want it and then just follow my instructions. Okay, what you want to do is go to this sort, optic compensations, oh, then go to optic compensations. And what you want to do now is you want to find a spot where you want to make it zoom in, it will make it like this. It's gonna be like an explosion. I alright. So I'm gonna set this and then I'm going to go to the swatch kill view. But you wanna click reverse lens distortion and then you wanna click the stopwatch. Alright, then you want to go to the point where your clip we want to make it the highest at its highest point and that will be right here for me and I'm gonna put that on sixty no, 160.2 I'm trying to make this quick though and then what I want to do is what you want to do is go forward and then put it back at zero and you will see that one second all right you'll see that it comes in and then it comes in and it comes out and I twist it in this stuff okay and then what you want to do is go back to the point where you put that those points at and you want to download twitch it's very easy to find on the internet or youtube just go to youtube and search it up you'll find it go to go to twitch and then put my zone 20 which you can actually use just for any like speed the speed of the twitch you can have it on anything so what you i want what you want to do is click enter go to enable blur light and slide you don't have to mess with blur and light because it's everything is already set the way I would like the perfect way around. all right all right go to slide I like to put some RGB into it I like to have my kind of color or something so you would want to put in you can put in anything as long as as much as you want and then you'll see i'm put mine right there and then what you want to do is go you want to click amount you want to put zero you want to put it at 100 at the point where i showed you Doing this right here, so put it in 100, and then you want to fast forward a little bit, and you want to put zero. Let's come on, okay. Here you see, you have everything that you need to make that explosion sound. And I hope you like this tutorial. Please like if you want me to do more of these and. See you later.